Game Star, Brett Summers. Celebrity Night Watchman. No, everything's okay over here. Bye. There's more fun in store next week. Some people say bonjour. Some people say buenos dias. A man who is pronounced clinically dead by one of the nation's leading hospitals and was revived miraculously 17 hours later. Can you say dias? Some people say guten tag. Tuesday, Jackie, Debbie, and Sam are up to their old cosmic hijinks. Hey, girls! I just got word from Venus! We're safe! Find out what's shaking in space. Tuesday, three girls in orbit. Right after three girls in a sub. When we relocated to San Diego in the 50s, we bought our first Davenport from Jerome's. They call them sofas now, dear. And we've been coming here ever since because really the prices are so good and the people are always so friendly. That means a lot to us. I love these new recliners with all these gadgets. And oh, are they comfortable. We're really... Left a good job in the city. 4.3 pounds. Oh. And Bambi? Slightly under 7 inches. That'll be all, Bambi. Thank you, sir. Hi. Does my job look like the kind of work you'd enjoy? Do people at parties tell you you've got a pretty good idea of how heavy or how big things are? Does this look like a foot to you? Does this? Well, if the answer to either one of those questions is yes, then perhaps the Columbia School of Weights and Measures is for you. Imagine yourself as part of a fast-paced and exciting world where every day you're making important decisions and gaining the respect of others. You'll weigh boxes of crackers. You'll measure the length of trout and eventually bigger fish. You may even be called upon to verify the volume of jars and, mm-hmm, cans. All you need to qualify is proof of military service, a high school diploma, or $15 in cash. So act now. Exactly where this... Don't adjust your television sets. You're looking at one of the hideous side effects of death. Mr. Sidman, nice to have you here. It's nice to be anywhere, Georgie. <laughs> Coming from you, that's no joke. And I mean that in the most sincere sense of the word. Tell us, Mr. Sidman, what was it like to have a rendezvous with the Reaper? Well, I'll tell you, Georgie, it was no picnic. So what you're saying, then, is you wouldn't recommend bringing paper plates to your own demise? No way. <laughs> no, we kid, but we're talking seriously here for a moment. You're saying that you had a lot to live for. Well, Georgie, all I can say is I've been alive and I've been dead, and believe me, alive is better. Yes! yes. It's testimony time on the telecast today. Your name and the town that you are from. I'm James Jamie Henderson. I'm from Wheeling, West Virginia. And state your affliction. Ever since I was six years old, I've been unable to walk without the aid of crutches. What's wrong with your legs, neighbor? It's my nose. It's too heavy. My legs alone won't bear up the weight of it. You tried inserting cotton balls soaked in camphor. Thank you, Mr. Sidney. Before you leave, may I ask you what you do for a living? I direct Kabuki Theater. Some people say... Gandanda. Oh, I am no one, the hope. I have uh, no power except the power that comes from the Lord via satellite. You know, when we were up at uh, Camp David together, we had trouble agreeing on everything. But the one thing we did agree on was what beer to drink. White beer from Milner. For sure. The great thing is, it's white. No, 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 my dear friend. The great thing is, it tastes the same as the yellow beard. For sure, but no. It's white. It tastes the same. It's white. It tastes the same. It's fellas, white. It tastes the fellas, same. Fellas, 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 you're both right. White beer from Milner is white and does taste the same as the yellow beer. You know something? 
You are quite a peacemaker. <laughs> you could win the Nobel Prize for bartending. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> white beer from Milner. Everything you always wanted in a beer, but white. Whiteness of beer may vary. This week on the ABC Friday Night Movie. A neighborhood lives in terror. A devilish fury is unleashed and on the loose. And no one could stop it. Bad Dog. Look what you did! Bad Dog! Bad Dog, come on! Bad Dog. Starring Ron Howard, Donna Mills, and in his television dramatic debut, Benji as Bad Dog. Yay! It's a miracle! I'm healed! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Parachute failed to open and he was killed only... Look at them go! Would you believe the one second from the left has been on an all-yoga diet for the last two weeks? We're gonna make something today in the neighborhood out of things that you probably have in your own home. Anchovy paste. Cotton ball, something camphor. See how light these are? Can you say R? I know you can. And a wire hanger. It's a coat hanger. You've probably seen these in your closet. Notice when you close the door, they go like this. Sounds like a skeleton rattling around your closet, but it's not. Can you guess what we're gonna make? That's right. A model of the Radio City Music Hall. But it's only 9.30. Good night, Helen. Good night, Roy. Oh, I don't understand it, Roy. What is wrong with our parties? I don't know. There's something missing. Did someone say dull party? Well, who are you? I'm the man from party time, here to liven up even the dullest of parties. But how? With these. Party time hoof sticks. Chewy chunks of tasty 100% ground beef feet. Now, even better, barbecue style. Bye, Roy. This party's sure jumping now. Yeah, look at the hoof sticks disappear. These go great with dip. We love them plain. Thanks, man, for party time. Party time hoof sticks. One taste, and you're hoofed. Keeping with the commitment of Protochem Industries to the finest in commercial television, tonight's special broadcast will be brought to you without commercial interruption. It begins after this brief word from the people at Protochem. On the night of June 3rd, 1896, Tom Protochem was suffering from one of his headaches. So he went to the kitchen of this modest home in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. What happened in the next 10 minutes was to change the quality of life in America and throughout the world as we know it. Trying to reach for a bottle of medicinal salts on a high shelf, he accidentally spilled some of the salts into a can of shellac. The result, aluminum chlorhydrate, the main active ingredient in today's finer deodorants. But keeping America dry and odor-free was only the beginning for Tom. By 1932, what started out as an accident was now a building. A building that housed the nation's sixth largest chemical laboratory, where over 2,500 man-made substances were changing the way America ate, slept, dressed, and ate. And Tom Protochem? <laughs> well, just before he died of blood poisoning, he left a legacy in the form of a motto that everyone at Protochem Industries keeps as a personal goal. Arrive at work on time and park in your assigned space. We all know how big a part chemicals play in our lives. But do we really know how large a part chemicals play in our lives? You probably do. But did you know that Protochem paves America's highways through our Proto Creek Division? Makes America's women feel better about their lips with our line of Charles of Protochem Cosmetics. We also feed the starving third world countries with Protocal, a nutritionally complete line of space-age diet food with one-third the calories of regular diet food. And for a more entertained America, Protochem Research even had a hand in the development of two of the Mills brothers. We don't know everything yet. We'll make mistakes. But if Tom Protochem hadn't made a mistake on his kitchen floor, we wouldn't be here. We're Protochem, and we're here.
The TV show is an amazing collection of comedic talent. Four of these guys, Rob Reiner, Billy Crystal, Harry Shearer, and Christopher Guest, have worked together so many times that it warrants a four funny guys timeline. We start in 1984. The movie, This is Spinal Tap, directed by Rob Reiner and featuring Harry Shearer and Christopher Guest. 1984 to 85, Saturday Night Live with cast members Harry Shearer, Christopher Guest, and Billy Crystal. 1987, The Princess Bride, directed by Rob, featuring Chris with an appearance by Billy. 1989, When Harry Met Sally, directed by Rob, starring Billy. Harry Shearer had nothing to do with this film, but Billy did play a guy named Harry. 1992, A Spinal Tap Reunion. Also in 92, A Few Good Men, produced and directed by Rob, Chris played Dr. Stone. The film was nominated for an Oscar. Billy sometimes hosts the Oscars. 1996, Waiting for Guffman, written and directed by, no, not Rob, Chris. Music composed by Harry. And speaking of Harry, he's done over 20 voices for The Simpsons. To the best of our knowledge, Rob, Chris, and Billy have watched The Simpsons. But one thing is for sure, they're all in the TV show, and you can see them when the Screen Gems Network returns. Hey guys, what you up to? Mom's got a bad headache, so we're taking her some ice cream. Well, maybe I can help too. For headaches, doctors recommend Tylenol more than any other brand. I knew the ice cream would help. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Uncle Arthur, and he's in a super ornery mood. Will you please come down from there? No! It's Back to Bewitched tomorrow on the Screen Gems Network. program coming to you from Burbank in the heart of Southern California. Let me say right here at the outset that uh, we are all very distressed about what happened here on the uh, broadcast yesterday morning regarding Mrs. Stephen Bates of uh, Fresno, California. Her husband called her office this morning. Apparently she was watching the program on uh, channel whatever up there. What's up now, Johnny O'Neill? Isn't it amazing? All you do is wait for him to bring home the bacon. Except it's fish. Available at Payless, Pay More, Pele, and Pay As You Leave stores. about little Billy? Don't be. Symptoms of some types of chemical poisoning often don't develop for 10 or 15 years. In the meantime, he'll live a fuller and more convenient life thanks to the wonders of protochemnology. And after all, isn't it the quality of life that counts, not the quantity? We think it's a pretty good deal. We're the protochem people. Protochem. We fill your life with chemicals. One of the most famous athletes in the history of professional sports. He is the three-time heavyweight champion of the world. He was originally known by a name he chose not to keep. He is now known by a name he chose to keep. And I will call him by that name because he's a very big gentleman. He probably could beat the stuff out of me. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the broadcast, Muhammad Ali. Thank you, Tom Snyder. It's a pleasure to be on your show so early. Well, sir, I've been trying to get you uh, in that chair earlier or later, whenever you want to do it. Yeah, I've been trying to get you years, in the yeah. ring for four years, Tom. Yes, sir. I box your ears back, but you ain't got no ears. Where are your ears, <laughs> Tom Snyder? Well, sir, I've gotten this far in the business without him. Maybe I don't need him. Who knows? <laughs> Mohammed, you've been through so many changes in your life. Yeah, I understand you've been through a new change here this morning. You want to talk about it here seriously in the program. Go ahead. Tom, I'm announcing tonight that I'm changing my name again because I got new religious beliefs. Yes, sir. From today on, I want to be known as Izzy Yiskowitz. Now, I, I mean no offense by this, but to my ear, just hearing it the first time, it sounds kind of Jewish. You know what I'm saying? It is. It's orthodox Jewish name. I am now Izzy Chaim Yiskowitz. Well, congratulations on your conversion, sir. What's the Chaim mean? Chaim the greatest <laughs> of all time. Well, I'm glad to see you haven't lost your sense of humor with your name and your We Jews have always had a sense of humor. I understand that, uh, that that you've changed a lot more about your life. You've changed your eating habits and, and Everything's and so forth. different, Tom. This is the new thing. Tom's called Jewish boxing. All right, sir. What would that what would that consist of? Well, you don't hit the guy, just make him feel guilty. I see. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you very much, Italian singer. Yes! Wasn't that an acceptable yes. performance? Yes. What you're doing with the telethon and the love and the death and the thing. 
looking forward to that day. I got a poem, Tom. I got a poem. Is my bar mitzvah poem? Can I, you got time for my Yes, sir. We just poem? have a, a little bit of time. Joe Fraser was not a Jew. Kenny Norton's a Gentile, too. I don't like their looks. They both look like schnooks. Larry Holmes, how's by you? All right, sir. Well, thank you very much for uh, of all time. being with us this morning, and good luck with this religion and any others you may choose. <laughs> Are you ready to rock and roll? You might say you're gonna love them to death. Spinal Tap! If you're like me, you've always said, I'd like to own some land in the great Northwest. But if you're also like me, you just don't want to get your feet dirty walking on it. Well, that's where I come in, because when you get right down to it, there's no one more like me than me. I, me, I'm Don Hunter, president of Don Hunter Land and Carpet Company, the nation's leading carpenters of prime recreational land. Folks, don't be like me and wait till you retire to enjoy the benefits of owning your own piece of land, completely carpeted in lush nylon pile shag of your choice. Take it from me and do what I did. Send for our free brochure map and carpet swatches that will show you how to bring the comfort of indoor living to the great outdoors at Shag Pines Estates. So if you're like me, or if you just plain like me, rush your name, address, and phone number to me. Me, I'm Don Hunter, Shag Pines Estates, Drawer L, Wallace, Idaho. Thank you. We all love watching the Screen Gems Network, but what do you do when it's not on TV? Go to a computer, type in www.screengemsnetwork.com. There's trivia, games, cool stuff to buy, and much more. So surf the web to www.screengemsnetwork.com. Johnny O'Neill, the tote. Do it to me, if you please. George, I think we're going to want a timpani for this one. Let's hit it, Bow. $753,000. Ladies and gentlemen, we're almost there. I don't want you people out there to get discouraged. We have almost one hour left, and we're sticking with our goal, $25 million. History on trial. So we began our climb sharing the ride with a woman who was wearing a gallon and a half of inexpensive cologne. If each person watching right now would just give $7,000, we could lick this terrible killer once and for all. Good night, everybody. This
portion of the Greg and Jody Show was brought to you by Party Time Snack Foods, a division of Protochem Industries, makers of hoof sticks, gum chips, and bristle twists. At Party Time, all we throw away are the antlers. Thursday is comedy night on ABC. First, a terrorist takes over the van on three girls in a van. Then, it's a surprise party and you're all invited at America's first all-girl fire station home of the girls in red. Then there's trouble for Mickey when the car won't start on prom night on Trouble for Mickey. It all begins at 8, 7 central time right here. Tomorrow on Bewitched and I Dream of Jeannie. Now let's have it quiet. I don't even want breathing. <laughs> There's going to be heck to pay when Paul Lynn takes over the Screen Gems Network. How cool is the Christmas?